Hey guys, Beast here. I want to go over a headlamp I've been using for about the last year and a half. Uh, this is the Through Night TH10, and uh, this is sort of their introduction into headlamps. They've been doing flashlights for a while. This is one that they did send me out of the other gear that I bought from them. Um, been testing this out for quite a bit. This has been in the motorcycle, did take it down to Antarctica. Uh, we'll talk about the features a little bit right off the bat. Um, you know, it's got an 18650, which is phenomenal. I don't mind the little extra weight because you're adding a ton of capacity. If you're not familiar with that, it is a lithium ion battery and you will need a specialized charger for that. Um, so not your standard, just double A off the shelf. However, they do have a new version that does cover that. But for me, I like the, the flexibility of having such a low low and such a high output on high that when you really need that light it's there and you've got decent run times for it um, let's go into some photos here you've got a firefly which is a 0.2 lumens uh, that'll run for 65 days you've got uh, a low which is 11 lumens for 107 hours You've got a medium, which is 172 lumens, which is usually pretty much more than you'd ever need. Uh, that'll run nine hours, which is very impressive. And then of course, high is 490 lumens, and that'll get you 178 minutes. But um, I will say pretty much on most of my motorcycle rides, even the multi-week rides, the amount I use it at night to set up tents and things like that, um, it'll last pretty much the whole trip. I do carry a charger on me if I need to top it off. Um, but more than not with the 18650, it has so much storage that you can, um, just get away with it. Now from those photos, uh, you definitely saw it's got a very deep reflector. So you're getting a very tight hotspot. Let's cut to, since we've got a new camera and a nice fast lens, let's cut to some night video of the same stuff. Hey guys, out here doing a little bit of video testing with the TH10. Uh, we have it in low mode. We're at the same stairs that I've tested all my headlamps and flashlights for the last four years at. Let me bump it up here one more setting. There you can see how tight that beam pattern is. You can see the chair. We're actually manually focused at that chair. We're running a faster lens. There we are. Now when you start getting higher on the uh, the lumen count not only is that spot i mean it, it that thing shoots way out there but you can see the spill this whole area here is lit up so easy so you can easily walk without having to worry about that hot spot being on there and uh and then back to low so you see even on low the hot spot down in front plenty to walk around in medium again if i kick it on turbo you can see it's absolutely ridiculous you're getting a shadow of the camera a little bit there but sky's the limit with this thing great great long throw very impressive so this is a pretty good test um one thing you'll notice is because of the deep refl reflector like you said you're getting such a hot hot spot um people are always talking about that it's it's bad for headlamps to get that because you'll get focused on the hot spot I think the flood on there, especially when you get up there in lumens, um, that spill is floody enough that it still lights everything. It, you're not sort of tunnel vision to focus on just that hot spot. So I didn't really have an issue with that. I like having uh, a decent throw on my headlamp. There are plenty of times where I don't have hands free to have, you know, a sort of throw flashlight on me and then have a floody headlamp. I like being able to see way out into the dark. If I'm only carrying one pretty much light besides a pocket light on the motorcycle, I want to see what goes bump in the dark. Um, when I'm in Antarctica, uh, a very weird mission came up and it was a 2 a.m. boat flight in between boats. I was out on the water in the Zodiac and it's very eerie being out in open water at night with no running lights um, to speak of and trying to surf your way through the waves. So I could see about a wave ahead of me um, when it's in pitch black and you're in South Georgia, um, it gets very dark down there. So this guy was on my head. Of course, I didn't really get a chance to get any GoPro footage of that. Um, I was too busy working at the time. But um, really cool. I'm, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. One thing you're going to see here is the plastic has loosened up a little bit. So um, I haven't really noticed it as much because when it's on your head, if I can kind of mimic this being on your head, it definitely tightens it up a little bit. 
so it's not quite as loose as floppy, but it's definitely looser than it was when I got it a year and a half ago. Um, with that, I've got a, uh, it says flashlight parts, and um, reaching into there, there is a spare one. So they give you two to start out with, what I thought was amazing because I've never had that happen with manufacturers. Now, some of them will warranty it if you break something, but I've never had them right out of the box give you two of these things, which is a phenomenal idea. So, like you saw, I've used it for all sorts of things. Um, you know, sky's the limit really with this thing. It really depends on what your usage. Uh, if you're gonna be a trail runner, I would say that this form factor is a little heavy. You're probably gonna want something that's a little floodier. It's not like you're out running a flood beam. Um, now, if you're mountain biking, I would definitely choose this guy and uh, just fix it a little bit. You're wearing a, you know, a, hopefully a helmet um, or something on there that you can get, but this will have plenty of throw that you can actually see down the trail so you're not forced to go slower and out running just a, a very floody wide angle beam. So. I like it and it survived. Um, I did carry a spare headlamp with me. We'll get to that down the road. Uh, it's another headlamp I've had for over three years and it's my go-to light. Um, it's one that I carry with me because I'm constantly testing new lights, but this thing has been flawless. I haven't had one little bobble, one little hiccup, nothing. It's been covered in salt water. It's been all over and uh, still going strong. So highly recommend it. Uh, again, through night, you're going to see a ton of reviews on YouTube about this stuff. I've had this a year and a half. They've been pestering me to do it, um, was, you know, asking where the review was. And until I'm done testing something to where I can actually tell you guys I believe in this product, um, then I won't do the review. So it's finally coming up a year and a half later. Check it out, guys, if you're looking in for a new headlamp, especially that 1860 or 18650, excuse me, battery ton of, of just capacity in here gives you really good stuff now they may even have a newer version coming out because i take so long to do the reviews for these things but um take a look I'll put links down below take care guys hey guys just want to give you a huge thank you for the continued support that you always give me uh, we'll be putting out more content as always, everything from the high Arctic down to Antarctica and everywhere in between for our adventures on two wheels. Uh, we'll catch you down the road. Thanks again, guys.